Alright guys, we're going to rock and roll on something just a little bit different today and we're going to talk about paint surface decontamination. So, periodically this needs to be done on a vehicle. How often or how periodically absolutely completely depends on your storage habits and, drive, and driving habits of the car. If you're the kind of person that has a garage queen and maybe the car sees 3,000 miles a year, I don't know, you might only need to do this once every couple or three years. You might not need to do it very often, if ever at all, if you only own the vehicle for a short period of time. On the flip side of that, if you own a vehicle that's stored outside all the time, you don't have shelter at home, you don't have shelter at work, and maybe you work in a very industrious area, then you're going to have a lot more things falling on your paint. And what do I mean by things? Environmental fallout, meaning carbons. You'll even have things from brake dust from your vehicle, exhaust carbons from your vehicle, other vehicles, tree sediment, uh, particulates that just come down out of Mother Nature through the, via the rain. There's all kinds of things that are going to land on your paint surface that are going to want to get embedded and stick and they're not going to come out in a car wash in, an, in, in, in your normal weekly, bi-weekly washing routine. So you're going to need to find a way to get those things out because a lot of things happen when those, when those particulates are allowed to set up over time could eventually lead to clear coat failure, but more, more immediately, it's gonna to lead to a rough paint surface, which is gonna rob your vehicle, even if it's coated. These are things that can still happen to a vehicle if it's ceramic coated. They're gonna to lead to lack of hydrophobic properties. The towel is not gonna glide across the surface like it should. Your car's not gonna look as glossy as it should. All of those kinds of things. So <clears throat> how often you do these procedures will completely depend on, again, your driving habits and your storage habits of the vehicle. So, the first and foremost thing that we're going to chat about though is a, is a paint decontaminator by Shine Supply called Smooth Move. Now, Smooth Move is very reminiscent of Cool Guy, which is used on the wheels. It's designed to remove iron fallout. So, those are the things that are going to come from your carbons and your exhaust, your brakes, um, all of the dust from that, and all of the other vehicles that are surrounding you on the road, and then just general environment, environmental fallout. So, in that same vein, it's pH neutral, just like Cool Guy is, and it's completely safe for paint and trim and everything that you would spray it on. It's non-acetic and it's non-caustic. We've got a Mark II Golf, a killer little uh, VR6 swap car that's getting ready for a paint correction with us. And this is one of our pre-treatments that we do on every vehicle that we polish. So <clears throat> typically where we spray this, well, most of the time we'll try to spray a light layer on the entire car if we feel like we're going to get some removal. But on most every vehicle that we treat, <clears throat> especially on sports cars, European cars, SUVs, all of the aerodynamics and, and just the, the physics of the situation, everything lands on the back. So the tail end of a vehicle is where you're going to get a lot of embedment, mainly from your brake dust and your exhaust carbons. <clears throat> so just going to take smooth move. This vehicle is already clean. Now, let me back up just a little bit. This vehicle is not clean. You would need to wash it because if Smooth Move cannot come into contact with the paint, then it's not going to do its thing. So if the vehicle is hammered filthy and there's a layer of crud on the back, that needs to be washed off and cleansed first so that this can make contact with the paint. In this case, this Golf is clean back here. And I know if I spray this, it's going to make direct contact with the paint. So I'm just going to take and do a nice light little layer back here. You don't have to drench it. Okay. And just do this little number right here. We'll go kind of along the sides. Sail panel there. Just a nice little layer. And again, the car has to be clean. It's got to be dry. But it's got to be cool to the touch because if the car is hot, if you're doing this in the sun, Smooth Move is going to dry out before it even has a chance to work. So now at this point, we just give it a little bit of time. All right, in a random turn of events, uh, the 1992 Golf was not uh, bleeding out any particulates. It, it wasn't contaminated enough to be able to even pick up on video, which I think is funny. So what we did is we swapped that car for the car that you're seeing here, which is a 2019 Mercedes C300 sedan. Now, this vehicle has been on the car lot just for a little bit. And I don't know how it was transported, but I'm also guessing that it was stored and or transported where it might have been exposed to some industrial fallout, um, some rail dust, possibly if it was transported by train at all. 
but as you can see on the trunk of this brand new quote unquote car, it is loaded with contamination. Um, so that's what Smooth Move does. Now, if you imagine that your vehicle was ceramic coated by us a year ago, and a year ago um, it was, you know, perfect, and now you're wondering, like, well, why isn't my coating acting the way that it used to? And uh, Chase, I, I don't have the hydrophobic properties that I used to once have, or whatever. And you're of the the, the individual that again drives 15 to 20 thousand miles a year, cars outside a lot. This is what's robbing your vehicle of its hydrophobic properties, of its of its even whether it's sealant or if it's coated. Um, it's getting that's stopping your slickness from happening. So. Smooth move is one portion of it. Now, what we would do at this point is we would just wash this off. So I would have my buckets and my soap ready. I would wash this off. I would have my pressure washer or my foam cannon ready. I would lather this up, blast it off. There's a million different ways that you can do it. But again, this is a pre-treatment and then you just move into your wash process. It's not difficult at all. Now, we're gonna let that sit. It's nice and cool in the shop. This is not gonna dry. We don't want it to dry. If it does, we'll spray some water. Let's wash on it real quick. But for sake of the video, I just wanted to mention one other method. Now, I'm not gonna demonstrate this because there's a million and nine stinking YouTube videos on how to clay bar a car. But clay bar. So whether your vehicle has been coated or sealed with us after a polishing session, or if you're just wanting to DIY some paint decontamination, if you do a smooth move, decontamination treatment, so a chemical decontamination, along with a mechanical decontamination via clay bar. Um, those two methods paired together, so right now I've got the smooth move sitting up, I wash the vehicle, after it's washed, I would clay bar the vehicle. Those two methods together will yield a nice slick surface, and there are clay bars out there that are coating, um, ceramic coating appropriate. So um, ultimately you would just want to do a chemical decontamination on a coated car, but if it was bad, and if it had been exposed to some things, you could do smooth move paired with a clay bar. So anyway, very, very simple stuff. Not anything over complicated, but this is something that I definitely wanted to touch on. Smooth move is a critical component to maintaining the slickness and the hydrophobic properties of any vehicle, ceramic coated or not. So we keep this in stock. We also stock um, fine grade clay bars. These fine grade clay bars will not mar the finish. Um, so we keep these in stock as well. So if you want to get into clay barn, we've got that also. So hopefully this decontamination video helped out a lot. Hopefully it helps anybody that it would help anybody understand that just because your vehicle is polished and coated or polished and sealed that it's, it's not over. Maintenance is crucial. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you like everything we're putting out lately. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy detailing. All that good stuff. We'll see you in the next video. See ya.